The Adams Family, released in 1991. This is a film based on the t hit TV series that was out around that in 19, yeah, 1990s, early 90s. They came out, it's a ripoff of the Monsters, basically. <laughs> um, which is out in like the 50s and 60s. Um, but yeah, so the, the Adams Family is, I kind of grew up watching it, so it's kind of a big deal. It's good. I could always relate to them and stuff like that. It's pretty funny and pretty amusing. It's not like fall over your seat laughing or die gasping of air. Funny. But yeah, so the Adams Family movie was released November 22nd, 1991. Um, I couldn't find out how much of the budget it had, but I know it made $191.5 million. So in the average, pre average budget for films like this in the 90s was about $40 million. So it's made a substantial profit. And that, and uh, overall, it's quite amusing. It's a very simple plot of uh, Gomez, the dad. It, I might spoil some of this. It might come out. So, just so you know, and if you haven't seen this it, and you hate spoilers and stuff, whatever. I just told you it might get spoiled, so you can't bitch and whine about it. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, it's about Gomez. And his family. So Gomez's this guy, and they live in this little Victorian house. Looks like the Psycho House at Universal. I'm pretty sure they actually filmed some of it there. But yeah. Um, so basically, he's been looking for his long-lost brother. He's got lost in the Bermuda Triangle, apparently. And uh, this is everything Halloween. It takes place like in between Halloween and Christmas, too. So you have like, Christmas carolers on the lawn. They're dumping like... A cauldron of stuff on them and stuff right in the opening is so funny. And then Butler's Lurch, a big Frankenstein looking guy. And they have Wednesday and Pugsley, the kids who are always like trying to kill each other and torture each other and stuff. And the weird like witch grandmother. And oh, it's so funny. Um, it's such a good movie. Um, yeah, so it's pretty well shaped in characters in this film. And Gomez, oh. Uh, Gets in touch with uh, this is a uh, it's like the, the one of the head guys from the bank that he uses to help store his fortune, and uh, yeah, so they get talking that oh they have a hidden thing of gold and stuff like that. So, this evil pair who um decide the guy is going to be uh become Uncle Bester, his long lost brother. So he's dresses up like him and stuff, shaves his head bald and everything, and he goes into the family, Adam's family house, trying to find this treasure, and it's all about him trying to pretend, uh, um, pretend that he's the, he's, uh, Gomez is his brother, and, uh, so he has to, like, act like the family and go find this, with his annoying mother nagging him to find the gold. And they slowly start, you now the Adams Family characters slowly start catching on to it. So, yeah, overall, it's a really good film. It stands up still pretty well today. It's from director Barry Sonnenfeld, who's done, like, every Men in Black movie. And he's also did, like, Wild Wild West and stuff. So, yeah. So, and there's a part where Gomez gets pissed off, so he's, like, playing with his chains. She's in a steam locomotive, and there's actually a passenger in it. That's very sound of the director. It's the passenger on the train. But, yeah, overall, it's really funny. They also have, like, a severed hand called Thing. Yeah. It's, oh, it's just, like, half of it's, like, slapstick comedy, and half of it's just, like, random things. Like, they always say it's, like, a nasty day when it's sunny outside, when it's pouring rain, it's beautiful out and stuff. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so if you have a dark sense of humor, goth, it's like a gothic comedy. So if you like that sort of style and stuff, you'll love this type of film. Um, yeah, and overall, I just want to say it's a great film. and start to stir up some more buzz so people can start watching it more. Because they did just do like a reboot of it, but it's an anime, animated film, which I haven't even got around to watching yet. But hopefully it lives up to as well as this one. They could do a lot more with the animation, a lot more craziness. So should be interesting. I haven't seen it yet, so... I'm sure I'll tell you guys what I think of it when I, once I see it, but, yep. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And it's basically the most simple plot ever. I can't really say anything else. And then, 
fest, you know, playing fest, she kind of feels for the family halfway through and then wants to stay with them. And that's how they get fester. Oh, and it's also the dude who plays uh, Doc in Back to the Future. Uh, I can't remember. I think his name's like Harold Lloyd or something like that. I think. I'm not 100%. I'm terrible with actor names, so don't rely on that at all. But yeah, so it's pretty cool seeing and being so over exaggerated and stuff like that it works perfectly in this one so yeah that's the yeah, the rough and rough like little summary of the adams family it's perfect a lot of good stuff on the stage performance probably one of my favorite stage performance scenes ever in a movie where they have like fake blood shooting over the whole crowd and stuff she slowly dies <laughs> so funny um at a christmas like uh, on a Christmas, what do you call those, play sort of thing, school plays, <laughs> they did one, it was so funny, uh, you have to check it out, I'll give this one probably about 4.5, it's up there on my list, and I, I, I love it, I've grown up with it, so I know I've been getting a, more and more of the humor as I get older, so, yeah, if you haven't actually, uh, if you haven't seen this, or you totally forgot about it, you should check it out, or recheck it out, and, uh, yeah, I'll link the trailer down below somewhere, probably in the comments or something, so, so you can find it. Uh, if you're not sure what, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So, yeah, but they did make a sequel to this one, so that will be my next review. So make sure you check in for that, and until then, I'll see you next time.